So, how is it going guys? It's the True Jack back again with a brand new video on this channel and today I'm going to be looking through our best signings we made in the Premier League era like if you know what I mean, Swansea City's best signings in the Premier League well this is from my point of view now but um, anyway if you're new to this channel then please subscribe and um, yeah let's have a look what players were the best signings Swansea City made in the Premier League era. So the first player we're going to look at now is the one and only Michu. Yes, Michu. We signed from Rio Velocano, I think, in 2012 for only two million, and he was a one-season wonder. And in fact, he was an inspiration for Erling Haaland, and he scored 28 goals for the club. And he was just a brilliant strike for Premier League. Like two million was an absolute bargain for him. And after the 12-13 season, Liverpool and Arsenal were linked with him, but he decided to stay at Swansea. However, in his second season with Swansea, he did not have a good one really. Only scored two goals, which came against Crystal Palace in a 2-0 win at Sellers Park and a 2 all draw against Liverpool at the Liberty Stadium. However, he did get injured the season and he was behind Wilfred Boney. And in fact, Wilfred Boney will be mentioned in this video as well. But yeah... Um, Michu, probably that's our best signing in the Premier League. Well, one of them, 100%. No doubt Michu would be on that list. Right, the next player we're looking at now uh, deserves to be on the list as well as Michu, Lucas Fabianski. We signed him from Arsenal in 2014 and what a goalkeeper he was. And um, he's Polish international and he was Arsenal's number two since Wojciech Szczesny was their number one. And i got to say, Arsenal fans were disappointed about him leaving for us. And in fact, this is true, right? He once came to my school. I was in year seven and Lee Trundle came alongside as well. Obviously, Lee Trundle, the uh, Swansea legend. And I was actually shocked to see Fabianski come to my school. I'll show you a picture right now. And as you can see, I'm on the middle left with my Lucas Fabianski shirt. In fact, I still got that shirt. Um, yeah, I think I still got it. Yeah, guys, here it is, the uh, Lucas Fabianski shirt. And as you can see... He has signed it, yeah. He signed it on that day as well. And what an experience to see him that day. But overall, he was an amazing keeper. And I think he was our best goalkeeper in the past. Yeah, I think he's been the best goal. I think he's been the best goalkeeper we've had in the past recently. But Freddie Woodman's been good this season. But I still think Fabianski's a bit better. Well, Fabianski's more experienced. So, but um, so Woodman will be up there soon. And I've got to say, he saved us out of danger a few times now. And... When we got relegated against Stoke, he was very tearful on the pitch. And literally, look at this picture, absolutely devastates me. And I was really expecting to see him go, and he did. He went to West Ham United, but I really wanted him to stay in the Championship. And um, yeah, what a goalkeeper he was, and I absolutely miss him every day. Right, the next player now is Wilfred Boney. Well, we did actually sign him twice, where we signed him from... Vita Saruman for 12 million in 2013 and we signed him back from Man City in 2017 but the first time we signed Wilfred Boney, yeah, um, when we signed Wilfred Boney the first time in 2013 was uh, our best signing, well the second time he was not so much great because I think Man City ruined him because he was second choice after Aguero, Dzeko as well but yeah the first time we signed Wilfred Boney was when it was better, he scored 26 goals overall in 54 appearances, well some including Europa League but Still, um, 26 goals in the Premier League for Wilfred Boney and he was quality back in the day. Like, every time the ball was in the air, he just wins a header and puts it in the back of the net. And i got to say, he was our record signing as well um, before Borja Baston took over him, I think. But um, he was a quality striker in the Premier League, 13-14, 14-15, but... He left for Man City in 2015 during his time at the Africa Cup of Nations with the Ivory Coast. But anyway, um, like I said, Man City ruined him in my point, in my opinion because he didn't do much on his second spell. Like, his first spell, he was just absolutely quality and he mugged Chigueras off um, the, when he was at Tottenham. Yeah, the Romanian guy I'm on about, I think it's Chigueras. I think that's how you pronounce it, but still. He, was do he did some amazing skills and scored some pretty good goals as well. Right, the next player we're looking at now is Gilfie Sigerson. Well, Gilfie Sigerson, we actually had him twice. He was on loan with us from Hoffenheim in the 11-12 season where it was in fact our first season in the Premier League. He did 
decent in his first spell with us, but in his second spell, he was pretty much um, more decent than that. Well, he scored more goals and he was here longer, you see, because he was a permanent deal. We signed from we signed him from Spurs in 2014. In fact, it was a swap deal where Ben Davis and Michel Vorm went the other way for him. And I think that's a very good swap deal made by us. And he was a freak specialist. And the one against Arsenal in 2014, you should not forget. 25 yards out and in the back of the net. That's probably the best free kick he scored, in my opinion. But the one against Man United in 2017 was good as well. But still, Gilfie Sigerson, he was a free kick specialist. And in fact, a penalty specialist. Like for penalties, he never really missed. He always put it straight down the middle. And for free kicks, the majority of them, he scored. And i got to say, um, he's probably one of our best signs made in Premier League era. But um, yeah, the second time we signed Gilbert Sigerson is probably um, the better one out of them too. Right, the next signing we're looking at is Alfie Mawson, who came from Barnsley in 2016. And I must say, he was a quality centre-back and a proper Ashley Williams replacement. And we needed a centre-back after Ashley Williams left for Everton. And we got one, and it was Alfie Mawson, and in 65 appearances, he scored six goals. He was very solid at the back, and he scored some, he scored some very good goals. Like, the one against Leicester in 2017 was one that you shouldn't really get, forget, really. Like, for a centre-back, he scored a volley just outside the box. And um, he had a very good goal from Mawson. And, um, yeah, i got to say, he's probably one of the best centre-backs we've had in the Premier League era, and a very good replacement for... Ashley Williams. So the next signing now we're looking at is another centre back, Federico Fernandez from Napoli in 2014. We signed him for £10 million and he was actually a good centre back. And like Mawson, he was very solid. He scored a couple of goals as well, where he scored against Aston Villa in 2016, where we won 1 0 that game. And he scored the equaliser against Leicester City in 2018 at the King Power Stadium. But um, overall, he was very solid at the back and since Ashley Williams left, him and Mawson worked very hard at the back. Well, Amat did very well that season as well, but overall, um, Fernandez and Mawson have been two good signings, especially at centre-back as well. And Fernandez, his experience kind of helped us as well a little. So the next player now we're going to look at is Jonathan de Guzman. Well, Jonathan de Guzman, he was on loan, but it was a two-year loan from Villarreal and... He did very well, 72 appearances in the Premier League, 9 goals. And he was actually a good free kick taker as well, just like Sigerson. And the one against Valencia, you should not forget. Like from that sort of angle as well, I was not expecting it to go in. And it went in. What a free kick it was, especially at the Mistea. We won 3-0 that game. Well, well, we won 3-0 that night in Valencia. And that's probably the best win in our Europa League season. But Napoli, we did deserve to beat when we drew 0-0 at Liberty Stadium, but they were the team that knocked us out. And yeah, Jonathan de Guzman is probably up there on one of our best signings as well. The best loan signing we had, I'd say, in my opinion. Right, the next signing we're going to look at is John Joe Shelby from Liverpool in 2013. Well, I honestly think it was a good signing because um, in his first few seasons of the club, he was proper brilliant, but in the 15-16 season, he had a bit of a falling out. Like, he had a fight with Gilfie Sigerson apparently in training, and he refused to play for us, and that resulted in him being sold to Newcastle United. But overall, he put he, he assisted lots of goals, and he scored some brilliant goals as well, and he scored a proper banger against Aston Villa in 2014. We won 4-1 that game, where basically he was just right in front of the halfway line. Like, it was a terrible clearance, it just went straight to his chest. Brad Guzan, the goalkeeper, was off his line. He just shot there and it went in. And you wouldn't realise how chuffed it was when it went in. Like, he was a good player, in my po in my opinion, but he just, it just got worse when he had that falling out before we left for Newcastle. So the next thing we're looking at now is Andre. Well, Andre, we did sign twice, just like Wilfred Boney, where we signed him for free from Marseille in 2015 and back from West Ham in 2018. Well... I think the first time for Andre was probably better, where in 34 appearances he scored 12 goals and like Boney, every every ball that was put in the air he scored mostly and to be honest with you, this season he has been our best player and it's different when you're in a championship compared to the Premier League. Like, 
his first spell was in the Premier League and he did very well last season. And for Championship, it's different, like I said. And we did sign him in 2018 for 20 million. He's our current record signing. Yeah, back yeah, he went to West Ham after his first spell at Swansea, and then he went back to us. Um, funny enough, but um, yeah, for his second spell, it didn't start off too good. He didn't score a single goal since returning in the Premier League, and we were relegated, like I said earlier. And he went on loan to Fenerbahce, and the Fenerbahce president hoped for the deal to be permanent, but after he had a falling out, he decided not to make it permanent. And we still got him, and he's absolutely smashing it in the championship. So, yeah, hopefully he will score more goals, and hopefully we can get to the playoffs when the season resumes. Right, the last signing, I'd say, it's going to be a tough one, but I'd say Jefferson Montero because of his first season at the club. Like, he was really fast, and he was causing defenders nightmares, like right-backs especially, and, with, and every cross he's been putting in. It mostly led to an assist from like Andre, Wilfred Boney, even back for Timmy Gomez as well. Every time he crossed the ball, well, majority of the time he crossed the ball, we just score a goal. And um, yeah, he's pr trouble about him is that he was always injured and he's made a glass. He's be, he's on loan at Birmingham City right now, and yeah, you know, even in even he even played for us a bit in the Championship as well. Um, since we got relegated and most of his cross led to goals. So yeah, Jefferson Montero is a good player, despite he gets injured all the time. But first season overall, he was proper smashing it. So yeah guys, that's the end of the video. And before I go, there's lots of videos coming up in the next few weeks, or even the next few days, where basically, there'll be one based on transfers next weekend, and these are going to be players that were once linked with us, and you'll be surprised what names will appear on there. And also, voting for the Football Content Awards final is coming up soon so yeah um voting will be open anytime soon and if i make it then i will let you know in my next video so fingers crossed if i do and also at one point this week i'll be uploading my first ever interview yes i've interviewed someone i recorded it earlier as well and just to give you a clue who it is he also does interviews on his own channel and in fact he did one with me on his own channel and this time i'll be doing one with him on my channel so yeah, guys, I'll announce who it is on Tuesday night or something, and it should be out on Wednesday. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure you like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and yeah, peace.